I'm Anthony from Hazards, and today we're going to take a look at Transformer Studio Series 86 Slug. And uh, he does go by another name, but we're not going to use that because I don't want to offend anybody. Uh, but in offense, <laughs> uh, Slug comes with Daniel, which is just as good as the Wheeler that came with Grimlock. We'll talk about these guys when we come back. And here is Slug and Daniel. Daniel does not stand up properly, so you gotta make him look like he's struggling to stand up. I get it, it was part of the movie, blah, 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 but Transformers Studio Series 86 Slug is why you're here. Uh, it's why I got him, uh, but also because I also <laughs> got him and uh, I love the Dino Bots. They're my favorite Transformers. So we are going to Take a look at the box first. So let's move these two out of the way. And uh, it's the typical Studio Series box. As you see, there's a background there. Uh, Studio Series 86 side. Here is the back of the box. And uh, let's take a look at what's inside. Uh, for some reason, Studio is still doing the plastic -y blister thing, which uh, everything else has been switched to paper. So that is different. Uh, here is the back drop. And of course inside the box is the Don't Hurt Yourself papers and the instructions. And so we're going to stick Slug up on his uh, the display of the, I, I want to say Sharticon pit. And uh, we're going to take a little bit of a look at uh, Daniel here. He is about as photogenic and useful as Wheelie, and I will show you Wheelie. Here's Wheelie. They basically are the same overall design, except um, Daniel's hands are, are straight, and he has this weird connector bit in the center, which is ball joint. Uh, otherwise, there's really no usefulness to him. You'll connect to the back of him, uh, back of Slug in beast mode, but uh, whatever. We can just put him to the side and forget he exists. Like his parents often do if you watch the episodes of G1. Anyway, so here's his gun. Uh, it uh, It's a gun. Put that aside. And uh, one of, as I say, one of my favorite Dinobots. All the Dinobots are my favorite. I cannot choose. I even got the combiner from Prime Wars uh, Volcanicus because I love the Dinobots. So uh, you can see he's a big end. And I'm going to put uh, Grimlock in the other corner for comparison, and uh, we're gonna get to that transformation. I, I just, uh, I really dig this guy, and uh, I kinda, I, I get the doing the scale thing, uh, because they really didn't care about scale in Prime Wars, but uh, these guys are expensive, and they're big, and uh, I, I, if you saw my Grimlock review, I feel like they're, they're so light that maybe they're not necessarily worth that full leader class price tag. But uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes as the series goes along and they release the other Dinobots. Okay, so let's transform Slug here. And uh, as with most Transformers, we're going to flip his wrist around. These fold in to his bottom dinosaur feet. So those are gone. Uh, next, uh, we're going to detach everything that's on his back here and just let it free fall. And uh, the instructions have a different order to do this, but you know it's one of those things where I don't want to forget about doing it. So um, there is these two pieces here. One locks into the face to close off the mouth, and then the other, of course, is the mouth. Now, um, there is this thing where you have to adjust the elbows here we're gonna move the head up a little bit and it's a double joint and watch yourself uh, as you do it because uh, it will hurt and you're basically trying to line up the bits so you, you can put the horn head together and uh, once you do that you can close up the bottom here and it'll hold everything into place and you, you basically got the front of him done as you see here and uh, I'm just going to put this out there. This transformation is not as easy as Grimlock's. Uh, so I'm just, you know, letting you know. So next step, we're going to 180 the waist 
and we're going to lift up these pieces here. We're going to pull out, or sorry, we're going to pull out the feet here. We're going to pull out the dinosaur legs and flip them back, close this piece back down, close these pieces back in. And uh, uh, if you want to, you can pull out the, the feet now for the dinosaur form. And uh, assuming that we're still where we're supposed to be, we have all of this just sitting here. And uh, you got to bend the legs pretty much all the way up here. And then you got to fold this bit down on both sides. And uh, the goal is to cover this area up. And uh, it will kind of latch into place when you do that. Uh, there is a piece here on the waist that you'll connect to. Uh, but we're going to probably disconnect from it later because the tail is a pain in the butt to get to, into place. So we got all this piece up here. We've already adjusted the uh, the shoulders. Uh, now we got to align this bit here. If pieces come off, they're easy enough to reattach. And uh, so what we're trying to do here is there's this tab here on the tail that goes into the tabs between the legs. And uh, it's it's not the easiest thing to get into place because it's not like you can um, just, oh, well, there we go. <laughs> do what I do, not what I say, I guess. Uh, let's see, did these pieces lock in? Uh, these are in here. Uh, let's see, there we got that. Uh, fix the feet. I guess he has a lot of gaps on the bottom, but you know, if you're just sticking out the like model and then it's not going to matter. We got the top done. And then the last bit is on the tail here is a five millimeter port. You throw it in here and uh, you're, you're good to go. You can see in his mouth. Uh, you can look around his body here. It's actually pretty good. Uh, let's bring out Grimlock and uh, you can see the comparison. It is spectacular. I didn't show bot mode, but uh, they are this generally the same height in bot mode too. And uh, these guys just go great together. I cannot wait for the others. Uh, actually, you know, I was thinking about it, like, hmm, I was like, the Stegosaurus one was, was, was um, it's not Sludge, it's Snarls. I think Snarl might be my favorite down about next to Grimlock. Uh, and I don't remember why, but uh, yeah, but I mean, look at these guys. And then. Let's throw Daniel on here to waste space. I'm actually not quite sure. Oh, his side popped off. There we go. Uh, I'm not quite sure how he fits on here. I'm going to move this out of the way for a sec. Um, like, can, can he ride on? Like, let's move this arm out of the way. I mean, he has the porch for, like, wheelie. Well, here, let's try something. Can wheelie fit? No, this is not convenient. Like... <laughs> okay, you know what? Wheelie, you suck. Let's do this. There, we can do this. There. <laughs> no port needed. But, uh, and then Wheelie goes on to this neck port here. Uh, there we go. And he kind of just holds on. Although I think the, the port here has gone bad on Grimlock, but whatever. And so that is Slug with Daniel. Uh, tell me what you think about the Studio Series Dinobots. Uh, I'm digging them, although, man, compared to the transformation of Grimlock, Slug is such a difficult transformation. You can evident that by the cuts I've made to try to get things to get together. Uh, he is not the easiest guy to put together. Uh, now, do I, again, by weight, do I think these guys are worth $50? Not really. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who weigh these guys and will tell you if they're a leader of price. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about the whole thing. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.